today i will tell you about how to create pid controller in lab view first of all there are three types of structures in my pid controller first this one is interactive algorithm here is my proportional controller here is my integral and here is my derivative controller okay and over here this is my known interactive algorithm here is my proportional controller and here is my integral and derivative controllers and third one type is parallel algorithm this is my proportional integral derivative so first of all i go to my lab view block diagram window over here in on right click i have my functional palette and in my functional palette i have control and simulation and in this i go to simulation and i lock this and this is my control and simulation loop this is my control and simulation loop it takes time so next step in signal generation i have a step signal this is my step signal to test my pid controller and go back here is my gain and summation blocks here is my summation or here you can edit these functions like number of inputs or the sign here is my gain so first i have to create a proportional controller for this i select a gain and on double click i change it to terminal okay then go to help there is a one gain point is there so that i can create a control for this and i can update my kp value so i just change this level and here is my create a control and here is my kp kp value okay so again i copy it two times and this is my trigger and this is my derivative okay now we want to choose integral from the this continuous linear systems i have an integrator and the derivative and here is a transfer function which i used for a plant or a motor okay any transfer function so i want a summation again control and summation signal generation arithmetics and summation because over here i want to add kp value ki value and kd value in this so i create plus and plus okay so i remove its label first i add kp i 
put it over here. Then my k i value. Add it. Then my k. This is my parallel proportional integral derivative control. And over here is my error. Again, over here. Because PID works on the error value. And this value goes to transfer function. Let I have a transfer function like I want to choose a second order transfer function. So I consider a 1 upon s square plus s plus 1 apply. This is my signal and I connect this value to my I connect this value to my output and here is my output. Now I want to draw my step signal and my response on the same graph so i take a build array function in this here is my output and here is my steps and to plot this value again simulation graph and utilities same time waveform i choose same time waveform and i connect this this and this is my final PID controller design for a system. So now I share my block diagram window to you in this. Here is my output and here is my KP, KI, KD values. So first I put these values 0 and run. When I hit run, I got a response for this type of system. It takes time. So this is a parallel type of PID controller design. Here is my response. And when I hit continuous, and as I increase my KP value, the response is updated like this. And as I increase my KI value, you see number of oscillations means peak is increasing. And as I increase my KD value, my response is stable. Okay, thank you.